viewers, welcome to the Janet Zedjere Talk Show. As you all know, I am not in studio. I am right here in Willow Greek Church. Um, they, are, they, they are organizing a great international global leadership summit. And in this global leadership summit, there are a lot of international personnel that are here. I know you're going to enjoy this show as we are going to bring wonderful people that will be telling you what this leadership summit means to them. But I would like you to sit comfortably in your home and enjoy the show. Yes, my viewers, I'm still here at the Global Summit uh, uh, Conference. I'm here right away with a reverend, a great man of God, all the way from Preston Church, Preston Methodist Church. Reverend Manda Gamaza is going to tell us what this Global uh, Summit means to him. And uh, he's going to also tell us if he's going to encourage us to, or uh, other Christians to participate doing the event next day. So do sit comfortably and hear direct from Reverend. Reverend, thank you for having this word with me. Tell my viewers, what is this uh, Global Leadership Summit? What, how do you see it? Is it something that is wonderful? Do you encourage other believers to be part of it? Thank you very much. This is the, the most profound um, uh, interaction of Christians and believers from a broader spectrum um, of, of faith uh, followers. And this global leadership is a very important one and a necessary one, particularly at this time. Um, I see the greater need because the church has to take its place in terms of becoming the conscience of the society and motivating and mobilizing people. We're faced with many challenges. Yeah. There are many giants mm -hmm. that we need to tackle, including poverty and the sicknesses and HIV and AIDS. And our politics is is at a stage where it is not satisfactory. Mm -hmm. And we need to, to bring the word and seed the word so that the word uh, brings harmony and sanity within our lives. Reverend, you see, I, I've seen a lot of people are so more than they say there are more than 1,000 people plus in, in inside there and uh, they all coming from different churches this global summit um, in your own point of view do you do you see it as something that uh, is going to make uh, almost all the whole churches in Africa to, to be part of it you know these there's churches that are a bit uh, you know mixed or conflicting with each other but uh, seeing that there are more than different churches almost like 1,000 plus uh, uh, do you, open it? do you see it's becoming bigger? Yes, definitely. I have a, a track record. I've been attending the GLS for a number of years, starting from 2006. And so I've seen the numbers growing. The first one, of course, it happened here at the Mosaic. And I've seen today we're a greater number. And churches coming together, the area of ecumenism we needs to be emphasized more and more. And if we become a stronger force, we had that in South Africa today, this year, 2012, mm. there are three events taking place at the same time mm. in different places in the country, in the, in the continent, mm. which is so wonderful. Mm. And we, if this could venture right through the African continent, um, that would be a great, a great mission a thrust mm. through the Global Leadership Summit. Mm. Reverend, I saw some international guys like the uh, Condoleezza Rice and uh, uh, great, wonderful men and, and women, you know, um, being part of the speakers. Yeah. Um, tell us about them. when Congress Arise was speaking. What do you think? You know, what did you feel? Well, Condoleezza Rice. She she became totally different from when she was secretary of the state. Mm -hmm. Um, and these things never come out mm -hmm. as people engage in their secular jobs. But one could sense during her tenure, um, uh, being the U.S. Secretary of State, that this was a child of God. Mm -hmm. Because everything that she's she saying is centered on God, and as she quoted Romans 5, as mm -hmm. something that was undergetting mm -hmm. her involvement in politics and working for peace right through the world. Mm -hmm. And she's the child that is saved, mm -hmm. a child of God, and influenced by her parents mm -hmm. and her grandmother. Mm -hmm. 